Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to do a tutorial on, on how to port forward for Minecraft on the BT Home Hub 5. So yeah, we'll get started now. So what you want to do is type in CMD and then this will open your command prompt and then you want to type in IP config and click enter. And then you want to look for your default gateway Then this should be well, I'll highlight it in the video so you can see what it is and what it looks like. And then you want to right click on that and click mark. And then you can highlight your default gateway. Oh, let me highlight it again. And click Control C to copy it. Go into your internet browser. And then paste it into the URL tab. And then you're on the main menu now for your hub. And then go advanced settings. And then to your, your admin password. So and then click OK. And then continue to advanced settings. Then you want to click on firewall. And manage games and applications. Add new game. And then name it, you can name it whatever you want, but in this case we're doing Minecraft. So, and, um, Minecraft. And then click No for copy an existing game or application. And then for protocol, go on TCP. And then for all of the port ranges, go on 25565. And the same for this one. And then click Add. And then go on UDP, do exactly the same. And click add again. And click apply. Okay, so that's done now. Now we want to go back to port forwarding. Then go on the game applications drop down, me drop down menu. And then look for Minecraft. So it should be there now. I've seen a lot of tutorials using Doom 3, I think. But you have to change the ports for that in the server settings. But if you carry on going down, you should find it somewhere. There it is. Minecraft. Select your device. You want to select your computer that you want to run your server on. In this case, this is it. Then click Add. And then click Apply. And then we're done now for that bit. And you can leave this up for a minute. Because you want to take note of your IP v4 address. Which is blue. And then you want to... You can open your server. You can run your server. Click run. I haven't changed any server properties yet. But you can do that if you want. You, you don't have to enter your IP address in the server properties because everything will run automatically. And then I'll just open Minecraft and show you how it works. And prove to you that it works anyway. Okay, so there's two ways that you can join if you're running the server. After this loads, I'll show you now. My computer has been very slow today. Okay, so you can you can click on multiplayer, and then you can direct connect and just type in local host if you're the host of the server, and then this, this will enter you in the game. So we can see we're in our own server now. The full connection, you can everything will work build this as a normal minecraft server or this is how your friends would want to join it click add server name it whatever you want then for the server address you want to copy your ipv4 address so i'll copy mine now but i'm going to blur out in the video And your IPv4 address, it does change every now and again. So you might have, if you're having trouble connecting to the server, then you can, you'll have to go back to the CM, the command prompt and check your IPv4 address again. So this time now, you want to scroll down. 
And there it is. There's your server. There it is. So that's that's what number you want to give it to your um friends, which is the IPv4 address. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope it helped. Um if you want any other tutorials, I can I see you can comment if you want anything. I'll see what I can do. But stay tuned for more videos like this and well goodbye for now.